everybody, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode. We're going to be picking up Slime Rancher again, so I know we just did a series on Slime Rancher. Like, I'm completely aware of that, but it's such a good game, and they just dropped, like, a fatty patch. Like, a real fatty patch. Like, a patch that was just as gordo as the biggest gordos in the game. And so, anyways, it's the science patch. So now we can do slime science and stuff like that, and I want to experience it from the ground up. It shouldn't take us too long to get caught up and capture all those slimes that we want to throw into captivity and then gather their plorts. We become the lord of the plorts so we can't be ignored. You know, it is what it is. It is what it is. I feel like I use that phrase too much. Shen has called me out on it. Now I feel like i got to get it under control. Shen was like, it is what it is the other day when I was in conversation with him. I was like, you know what? I do use that phrase a lot, but I really do feel like it is what it is. I feel like that's a very true statement regardless of what you're talking about. It's an endless truth. So welcome back to Slime Rancher. Let's check out some slime science. Yerp. Uh, what do we want to do? Sli it's got to be the kitty. Got to be the kitty. That's what we're going to call. There we go. Got to be the kitty. We're not going to be doing five day rush. We want to see what we can get done. Ooh, new load screen. Very, very nice. I like it. It's got jiggles. I enjoy things that have jiggles. I have jiggly cats. I have a jiggly dog. I just enjoy jiggly animals in general. So welcome back to uh, Slime Rancher. We've got some carrots over here. I'm going to suck those up real fast because I figure we're probably going to need them a little bit later. Good lord. There's so many things going on right now. Let's go to our little uh, Dragon Ball Z house here and see what we got going on. So Star Mail. As always, the 7Z Corporation is welcoming us to the far, far range. Oh, our inside of our house has changed a little bit. It's a nice little studio apartment. Not a lot of studio apartments where I live. Not really a thing where I live. Basically, they've got like normal apartments but the sweet apartments the apartments here are bitter they're not so sweet they're not so sweet hey pinky guess what you're coming with me abduction oh there's a new area over here what is this let's go have a look and find out shall we so what is going on over here is this like a work in progress or oh it's the laboratory my laboratory okay so we're not going to be able to fiddle with that for a little bit but we'll get on it it's only 10,000 zenny or whatever they call the money in this game i don't really know slime gold Skrilla, that cash money guap, that guapamole. Oh, look at that. There's a plurt right there. Well, I'm going to sell this little pink plurt to make some money real fast. It's a little bit of a waste, but I'm going to do it either way. Pow, $9. When was the last time you made $9 that easy? We are one minute. In one minute, you made $9. That's a pretty rowdy hour. That means you're lining up on it. I mean, $9 a minute. That's pretty good. That's not bad at all. Which is an atoll that most people have not heard about. That is an atoll that is concealed from the general public. Oh, hey, what's going on, little pink plorts? I am going to gather all of you. I don't really want the pink slimes. I'm going to try and do this in, like, a lucrative way. Since we've played the game a bunch of times, I'm mostly interested. I love how they leave little bits of their slime viscera all over the wall whenever you shoot them over there. It's the violence of the thing that I think attracts me because I'm a savage at heart. Deep down, I'm just a barbarian. All right, so you guys chill over here. I have pogo fruits now. Bounce, pogo, 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 bounce, pogo, 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 vacuum, pogo, pogo, pogo. I miss System of a Down. They should do more stuff. I don't think that I really... So we got tasty food acquired. Is there any way... I would like for that to go away. I mean, I can feed these little guys. Is that what you want me to do? No, my carrots. Never mind. We're not feeding anybody. We're doing our thing right now. I'm going to pick up all the pink plorts along the wood. No, nope, you ain't getting nothing right now. You ain't getting nothing from me, slimes, because you don't know me like that. All right, so we're almost up to 20 plorts there. We'll fire those guys off in this direction, around this corner. So we'll talk about the things you need to be aware of as you play through the game. It's a fun little title. This is one of those, it's one of those better titles that popped out over the course of the last year or so. They came kind of out of left field from Monomi Park. Wasn't really expecting this one. I mean, the moment I saw it, I knew it was going to be awesome. Like, you know, sometimes you see, like, a screenshot of a game, and you're just like, yep, that game's going to be the shit. And you're not necessarily, like, riding the hype train, you know what I mean? It's just, like, the quality ekes through from, like, the screenshots. You're like, yeah, this looks like something that will probably be good, rowdy fun. I've backed a slime. How dare I? How dare I? What's in this direction? I don't recall this direction actually being a thing, but let's snoop around for a second. Oh, my God. The plorts are evolving. What is that star right there? What is that thing? Oh my god, don't commit! The kitty slime couldn't take it anymore. Had nobody to talk him down off the edge, and the kitty slime just went for it. It's been rough out here. The kitty slime economy, falling apart. The kitty slime working class barely exists any longer. It's basically completely and totally gentrified. There's just nothing you can do about it. On the opposite end, the kitty slime aristocracy, every single day, takes more and more and more 
from the poor laboring kitty slimes, and he just couldn't take any longer. Threw himself off the cliff because his prospects in the ocean seem better than his prospects on the land. I'm definitely going to take these. Please don't headbutt me. I would love nothing more than to be left alone right now. Please, they headbutt you, by the way. I don't know if I've talked about that just yet. I am a slime rancher veteran. I've been doing this for a while. I've been slime ranching since slime ranching was made. My grandpappy was a slime rancher. My grandmammy was a slime rancher, too. Slime ranching is all me and my family done know. All right, so we got that right there. All right, we're full up on pogo fruits. We got a bunch of rock plorts laying around. Through this way, it's going to take us to, I think, the jungle biome. There's also, alternatively, little hidden things all over the place. Basically, I'm trying to fast track this playthrough. We're just going to bang it out and see what the new cool things are. Just got a bunch of you guys in here. Probably a reasonably decent idea to start collecting chickens, possibly. Oh, that kitty slime's got... Why are you carrying around a strawberry, kitty slime? Because it's ridiculously adorable. Sometimes I think the slimes just do things because they want to be cute and they want to endear themselves to you. They want to make sure that you're not going to go on like a slime, a genocidal slime rampage. Just throwing them all in the ocean and whatnot. So these guys right here are like mega gordos if you feed them a whole bunch of their favorite food. So for example, for the pink slimes it's anything. For the kitty slimes it's chickens. For the rock slimes I believe it's pogo fruits or vegetables or something like that. We'll get back down to it. You can actually look at all this stuff through the Slimepedia too if you press F1. You can go to the slimes that you've discovered and you can talk about the slimes. You can read about the slimes. You can learn about the slimes. And the slimes have become quite numerous over the last couple updates since the last time we played. I think it's been a good four or five months since the last time. No! Damn it. So, slimes will evolve. If a, I was trying to get that plort so I could make some money, but here's how this works. If a slime eats a plort that is not its own, it becomes a larger slime called a gordo. Those will then, you can feed them either fruit, they become a hybrid in every way. You can feed them any fruit that either part of the hybrid would like, and they will poop out two of the plorts. Plorts are being sold in this game, in this universe. The plorts are an energy source. That's all we do all day long is burn that dookie. Just dookie burning. Keep the dookie burning deep. Oh, we've been headbutted. We're down to 80 health right now. Let's head back to our little township. We're going to make a tiny bit of money. Not a lot. Probably only like 300, 400 bucks. But given the fact we've only been working for like five minutes, pretty good wage. I'm thinking that slime ranching is probably one of those booming economies right now. It's kind of like being a YouTuber. Everybody's getting into it. Everybody's getting into it. And you know what? They should. If it's something that you think will be enjoyable, go for it. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I mean, yeah, it might not turn into a job. It might not turn into a lucrative thing, but at least if you have fun doing it, you might as well do it as a hobby, right? You might as well does it. So we got pink plorts over here. We got ourselves rock plorts. I'm going to try. And the point of the game is to create pens and to essentially create for yourself a little industry of plort farming. There is also a plort economy. Just in case you hadn't noticed, the prices will go up and down as we go through the game. There we go. So we got about 550 bucks to play around with. That's our teleporter pad. That'll become useful a little bit later. Not for right now. We start with one pen. My suggestion is that if we're going to lock all these slimes down and throw them in the pen... Well, here, I'll show you how this works. So we lock them on up. I don't know what this slime's crimes were, but for his crimes, this slime's about to do a dime. So there it is. He's been thrown into the pen. They will try to escape if you don't keep them happy. You largely keep them happy by feeding them. That's pretty much it. It's kind of like keeping Splattercat happy. You keep me fed, you keep me watered, and otherwise entertained, and I'll probably be all right. The first thing that I would always recommend is that you purchase the high walls. Really, really good plan, because once they start to get rowdy, they actually will create little daisy chains of slimes to launch each other out. Like, they've got tricks. I'm looking forward to seeing how that develops, like, as a thing, too. Like, I want to see the slimes get craftier, a little bit more evil, a little bit more devious, a little bit more violent, a little bit more untamable, you know what I mean? Maybe not violent, but a little bit more wild, just like, Aww! You know, the slime's out there just howling at the moon, ready. I'm going to grab some of these pink plorts. Well, I see no reason to just leave free money laying on the ground. Like, if you walk past $27 laying on the ground, you are a wealthy man, wealthier man than I. I don't walk past $27. I find $27 on the ground, you best believe it's about to be mine. Hey, take that. Eat this pogo fruit. Maybe they don't like pogo fruits. Maybe they like vegetables. I think they do. I think they like heartbeats, actually. Yes, plorty, plorty, plort. Plorty, plorty, plort. Oh my lord, it's a bloody bloody plort. It's a that's an old kind of an old timey far far range anthem that I'm writing right now. I'm thinking it's gonna go like you can you can catch me at the CMAs. That's for sure. Once it comes through, add myself a slime. I need a, like a guitarist and I need a fiddle player though. Slime is doing dimes on the train. 
Because all country songs have to do with a train or a truck in some way. A train or a truck or a love song. That's basically, you got one of those three features, you now have yourself a country song. Make myself a little bit more cash, although this is not going to be super lucrative. I would also suggest we bring back chickens. Actually, let's go capture some slimes. What kind of slimes do we want to have? Well, I'm thinking rock slimes. They rock the hardest. Those are the ones that we need. Those are those slimes that are out there listening to that ACDC. It doesn't matter that all their songs sound the same. That's what everybody says. They'd be like, oh, ACDC, all the songs sound the same. It's fine because the song that all sounds the same is a great song. If you can write the same song for 30 plus years and still sell albums, more power to you, G. Ain't nobody asking you to innovate. Do your thing. Don't let the, don't let the man hold you down. There it is change up the theorem too much you end up like kiss making disco music and shit and then it's like what happened there you know like i, I we got to find that fundamentally unacceptable and just be like so you were rock now i feel like you've really gone in kind of this weird disco direction i'm not sure that's okay i don't really want uh, i guess i'll take the pink plort i was hoping we find a few more rock plorts over here but nope not going to be able to make that happen. It's nighttime right now. We can sleep through the night if we want, or you can just work through the night. I'm a hustler, baby. I just want you to know, and that's why I'm going to be going all night long. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. So if a plort... So you get this thing called the tar. And the tar is generally what happens when a third plort type is introduced to an ecosystem. So let's say you got pink plorts, you got cat plorts, and you got rock plorts. If they eat those plorts, all of them... That's not a good thing. Two is enough. Three is too much. Three is definitely not company here, John Ritter. God, we miss you, John Ritter. Why? John Ritter, why? Why couldn't they... It's just not fair. It's just not fair. They take John Ritter. Why well, you gotta take John Ritter from us? Like, there are so many other people you could have taken that nobody would have missed. And just been like, oh, well. They took John Ritter. Polly Shore's hiding behind a bush just like, mm, it wasn't me. Whatever that shit is he used to say. I'm like, all right. Escaped the wrath, I guess. You know what? Get out of my pen, you low-class slime. Get out of here. Ain't nobody want to know you. And then with these guys, just feed them up some carrots. Feed them up some carrots. Grind them all up, and the rock slimes will wear it like a paste. You know what I mean? My dog did that the other day. My dog's a little sick right now. He's got the doggy flu. It's a tad unpleasant. Like, my house definitely has a smell to it. My dog is just like, ah, kill me. Took him to the vet, and the vet was like, mm, just let him write it out for right now. He'll be fine. We'll run some tests, but there's a dog flu going around right now. This is probably the 10th dog I've seen this week that has this going on. And she was like, so do you take him to a dog park or anything? And I was like, indeed I do. Indeed I diddly do. Oh, these are the ones that like pogo fruits, I think. These are phosphor slimes. They only show up at night. So if you want to capture phosphor slimes, you best be aware and be prepared to get yourself dirty in the late of night. And they spawn just about anywhere. Like, as you walk through the bushes and stuff, they'll be like, ding, ding, and they'll pop out, and then you can grab them. Because you're allowed to do that, I guess. Slime rights have not advanced that far. You're just allowed to grab slimes whenever you want. Nobody really takes them seriously, either. It's a bit of a sad state of affairs. Frankly, we tried to put it through Congress. We tried to get it through the Senate, and people are just addicted to that delicious slime energy. They can't help it. It's like, you know what? You grab those slimes. Whenever you want to grab a slime, you grab that damn slime, boo-boo. I don't think I want you... There we go. Now the thing, oh, there's a tar right there. So with the tar, you can chuck them into the ocean and that'll get rid of them. Alternatively, you can shoot them with water. God, that slime looks like it's seen some things that it can never come back from. Like it's seen some stuff and some things, man. Seen some stuff and some things from when the tar came, bro. It's like slime nam out here. We'll call it slam just to just to just to abbreviate and make it easier. So I got the one rock plort I'd kind of like to capture. There should be like a quarry place over here somewhere. I think it's like over this wall, yeah, over the river and through the woods. And then I think we should be able to find, oh no, and those ones, see those little things around them? That means they're grumpy. That means they're kind of in a bad mood as far as slimes go. In general, pretty jovial, mostly pretty agreeable, but in this case, no. In this case, no. We've captured ourselves a hen hen. Those, oh my god, they're still trying to murder me. Why would you do this? I don't want to. There's a locked door right there. That's one of the things that you get. You know the big fat gordos that I told you about where you got to feed them their favorite food over and over and over again until they give you what you want? Well, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I want the key that they drop. When you feed them a whole bunch, oh man, the tar have just taken over this BZ over here. All right, never mind then. It's time to excuse myself because at the moment, we really have no way to fight off. We have nothing. We have no way to fight off a slime incursion of that volume. It's just terrifying to us. 
We can't handle it. Maybe I'll check out this way just to see what's going on in here. So where does this lead to? Death. It leads to death. That's all you need to know. Oh my god, there's angry phosphor slimes in here. I don't want to know you guys. I'm just trying to walk away. I don't want to get murdered. Oh, there's a key door back there too. Okay. Reacquainting myself with the map. Getting reused to the mechanics that we're playing around with right now. Cold weather's finally here. That's the weirdest part. It's like two weeks ago, it was 85, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, it's, it's not that. It's almost freezing now, which is kind of a... Uh, Oh, I don't have here. You get out of here then. There we go. I, I definitely need rock slimes. I need rock slime. Oh, and there's the tar. All right, time to leave. Never mind then. We're going to sleep till manana. We're going to sleep till manana. Uh, I don't see anything that I... Oh, hey, little guys. How you doing? You want to come live with me in captivity and limited freedom and then maybe occasionally get fed when I remember? You're probably going to suffer the same fate that my goldfish suffered. I, I'm not going to deceive you. I, I couldn't lie about it. It's just not fair to you to lie about it like that. I would like these plorts and that plort and then that plort right there. Sounds good. You guys continue to gorge yourself and feed. Here's a new friend. His name is Jeff. Enjoy his company. I think he's a fan. Like, Jeff's into some weird shit. Just make sure, you know, if there's any belts or anything around. Any belts around and anything generally lubricated, just, I mean, like your bodies, for example, just keep those out of Jeff's way, because Jeff got problems. I don't know. Every now and again, I keep catching Jeff trying to make himself like the number eight. It's just like, Jeff, what are you doing right now? Like, but it feels so delightful. Like, Jeff, you need to slow your roll with that shit. This is a family show. Mmm, sleep until my nana. When you sleep until my nana it will respawn some of the things that you want to, and your slimes will kind of just get busy doing their thing. They look exactly like I do when I poop. Did you see that? You see his eyes when you watch. One of them's going to eat one of these things, and then you got to watch his... Ow! How dare you betray me, slime! I feed you. I become your friend. I try to tame this wild far, far, wherever the hell we are, and this is how you repay me. We've got another corral. All right, a new corral for us. Don't think I'm going to have the ability to upgrade this just yet. It will, however, need a solar shield. And it's going to need to have high walls because we're going to put phosphor slimes in there. They have this tendency to try and escape, so watch out for that. They they really, because they can fly. And so, you know, it's an easy out for them. They can just be like, all right, I'm out. And they just don't want to participate anymore. And they, they just bail. They bail on our union of slime unity. And that's not okay. And then we got to sick the dogs on them. You haven't seen the dogs yet. I got to gaggle the German shepherds out the back. Of the ranch, and when any of these guys start to get rowdy. Do you have to eat them, though? Like, why was that necessary? That chicken was just minding its own business, and then it just got blapped on. It's just like, I feel sorry for the poor chicken. It's not his fault. I'm going to try and feed the... Those aren't ready to go yet. However, carrots sound good, so give me some carrots. We're going to try and feed the first Larjo, or whatever, if we can. Uh, it looks like they've already devoured most of the food on this side. Luckily, when it comes to the pink Largo on the island... Largo? Largo? I don't know. Character actress Margot Martindale. Yay! The gold plot! Get rich or die sliming. Hell yeah, we do it how Fitty do. That's how Fitty told me, how Fifity told me to live my life. Fifty, Fifty cent. I have a friend that makes fun of me because I say 50 cent. I don't say fitty. And then he's just like, it's fitty, son. Got to be down with the click. How are you going to call him fitty? Or fifity? Because it's fifty cent. Fifty cent said, you got to chase the cat. All right. My dog loves that song. That's like one of his favorite songs because he's pretty good at chasing the cat. That's what he does all day, every day. The cat comes back and like his hair's all bent over sideways like little drool nasties hanging from him. Drew, oh good, gold plorts are worth money right now too. Shazaw! So that actually gives us a bit more of an option over here. So we will go shablam and give that the high walls right there. And then in just a minute, we will give it a solar shield. And then we will worry about the other stuff so that we got two different types of slimes over here that are holding it down. In the meantime, we've got like 40 food. So I think we should be able to get that Largo all nice and kitted up. So let's head off in that way. You know, I can't help but notice how dinged up the glass is on our suction machine. 
Considering we don't suck up anything that appears to have like a rigid surface. How do we bang it up this badly? Are we just we have bad death perception? We walk around in the dark a lot? Like what happened here? That's one of my favorite excuses for like when your zipper's down or like your shirt's on inside out. And you're like, oh yeah, I got dressed in the dark. That's my favorite. It's like my 100% favorite excuse. Here, enjoy. Oh my god, he's so happy right now. Look at you consuming all of this. Yes, indeed. Enjoy. And it does save the amount that you fed them, by the way. Like, if you fed them a shit ton of food, it does save that value. So you don't have to do it all, like, in one big burst. That's not necessary. Wow, he actually took it like a champ. I wasn't expecting him to uh, eat it all. All right, well, there's a little bit more right here. There we go. Oh, and there's the farts. The farts are always indicative of what's coming. Knock that over there. I thought there was another one on this side, but there's our first key, so we can open up a zone should we desire it. Oh, cool. Got ourselves another rock slime too, so I'm okay with that. And when you break the when you break the boxes, you get gold a little bit later too. Like if you give it a couple minutes, you'll see it add to your gold score. At least that's how it worked the last time I played. So I'm just gonna repeat it now as though it's the truth, and hope you guys don't call me out on it. Yay, we've got a slime key, and I kind of want to find out what's beyond. I think that one over there leads to the quarry, and there's some pretty decent stuff in the quarry, so I think we should investigate this. I think it's a wise idea. These pogo fruits are now going to be mine. There we go. Perfect in schlag. All right, so... Hmm... I'm gonna decide what I want to do here, but I have a Q-berry, which is actually kind of weird. Oh, a rock slime. Hey, you want to come with me, little buddy? I usually, I wouldn't put more than like six or seven slimes to a pen. At that point, they start to get kind of unruly. It can also be a little bit difficult to feed them all once you get to that point. You can't guarantee that they're all getting food every single time. And so you've always got the chance of like mass rebellion occurring. Because they're a big one for the rebellion. Each one of these little buddies comes with a Che Guevara shirt. That's the truth. You think I'm messing around? Look at your slime sometime. I bet you anything, every single one of them got like a Che tattoo. Like a hammer and sickle laying around somewhere. Just tattooed on their body. Just holding it down. But yeah, that's why we assign commissars to every single one of our pens. To make sure that the political ideology is being kept properly in place. We can't have, we can't, you can't have them sneaking up on you and like ruining things. So I'm probably going to plant some plants. Like over here. I, I think it sounds like a good plan to go with a garden. No, that wasn't what I wanted. I wanted to purchase. There it is. And we will plant Q berries in this garden. So we've built ourselves our first garden. Fantastic. Things are looking pretty good. I think at this point, I'm going to excuse myself. Welcome back to Slime Rancher. We're going to see what slime science entails. There's a bunch of new buildings and a bunch of new fun stuff that we can do. And we should be getting on at getting on within the next two or three episodes. I'm really going to do my best to rush through this preliminary period, make a little bit of money, unlock some doors, and get it rocking. But I just wanted to give you guys a little dose of the familiar when you came back. A little dose. Just a little tasty taste, all right? I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for stopping by. If you like what I do here at the channel, please check out the Patreon where you get to vote now. Uh, there's going to be a fan-funded fun series pretty soon starting up when we reach the next bracket on there where the people on the Patreon will get to vote for a running series, a running short series. I gotta make a caveat. Running short series on the channel, and when that ends, we'll put up another vote, and we'll keep that going. Gives you direct control over, like, the 2 o'clock slot for the channel, if you really, really want to. I mean, if you're into that sort of thing, all right? I will see you all later. Thanks for stopping on in. How you do, everybody?